Good evening, everyone. I'm Cami Deerking. I'm Rob Braun. Neighbors in several tri-state communities are dealing with the aftermath of major flash flooding today. Larry Davis is live in the Butler County village of Seven Mile, where dozens of people had to be rescued. Larry. Hi, Cami. Well, last night I would have been wading through a few feet of water here on Ritter Street in Seven Mile. Uh, the waters have receded quite a bit, but just behind me here, this lake is actually Pam Stewart's front yard. Now, water rolled downhill, it rolled out of creeks, and it flooded the streets here and many homes. And today, homeowners are still in the process of cleaning up. Seven Mile Mayor Vivian Gorsuch captured cell phone video of the flash flooding outside her home. Streets and homes were flooded in the blink of an eye. So everything in their backyards was floating down South Main Street and all the trash. It was trash night. It was picking up boxes, trash. Everything was flowing down South Main Street. Cars were trying to dodge it. We needed a no wake zone on South Main Street. It was really bad. The morning after, the waters had receded somewhat, but a lot of front yards had been turned into small lakes. Firefighters were pumping out basements. Some had water coming up the steps to ground level. Village and county officials were busy itemizing the damage. So uh, we're seeing a lot of basements that are flooded all the way up to the top of the basement. Um, we're seeing yards. The water table is very high around here, so we're seeing yards that have a lot of pooling. Uh, at one point, the streets were uh, flooded over like a river. Ben Johnson's garage and first floor were still underwater. In ground swimming pool. Mess. It's a mess. Johnson remembered the water coming in quickly. He moved fast to try and save whatever he could. Everything downstairs gone, washer, dryer, couches, TVs, PlayStations, Wii's, everything that was in the basement's gone. Freezer, freezer floated and hit the back glass on the sliding glass doors, busted them out. Johnson and his family lost a lot, but there was some good news. Alicia Johnson's hens survived the backyard flooding and that did not keep them from doing their jobs. My chickens survived and they laid their eggs this morning. They're okay. A bright spot in this story here today in Seven Mile. Uh, ben Johnson says it really got to him when he saw uh, his, uh, his boys things start to float away out of the house last night. He and others here in Seven Mile have no flood insurance. Uh, meanwhile, village officials say they are working right now on several options to try to remedy this problem to make sure this uh, doesn't happen again. But some people on one side of the street actually had to be pulled over to another side of the street once the waters rushed in. Live in Seven Mile, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. Larry, I'm so sorry for the people who, who lost belongings and who sustained damage, but like that nice woman with the, the chickens, I, I can kind of relate. You know, I have chickens and a lot of us have pets and that is a bright spot. It, it's got to make your heart feel good. Well, it's a good thing that the, the hens had that little ladder to move up onto their house, <laughs> uh, you know, about two, two or three feet up. They were above water, but they don't shirk their responsibilities. We call it a coop, Larry, by the way. But thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, right. um, there right. were also some flooded streets in Hamilton and then high water forced evacuations at a park in Madison Township. Emergency crews say some people also had to be rescued from their cars after they got stranded in the high water. What a mess, huh? Goodness. And the rain still hung around the tri-state most of today. John